Governor Kevin Stitt delivered his State of the State address today as Oklahoma is involved in a lawsuit over tribal gaming compacts. Leaders from six tribal nations were in the House chamber during the governor's address. News on Six's Tesmani spoke with them and has new reaction tonight. Governor Stitt spent about two minutes talking about the gaming compact dispute, but there was certainly no resolve in his comments, and that has tribal leaders frustrated. While wrapping up the topic of education, let me take a brief moment to address one critical matter. Governor Stitt transitioned to the gaming compact as tribal leaders from across the state listened from the House chamber. In 2019, 1% of the common education funding came from the state's exclusivity fees on class three games on tribal casinos. That comes out to about $130 million from tribal casinos. Stitt wants to increase the fee. Cherokee Nation Principal Chief Chuck Hoskin Jr. says the tribes are willing to renegotiate, but haven't had any formal meeting with the governor. There's no opportunity to do that when A, he starts out in an op-ed in the newspaper, and B, he holds a phony deadline with the clock ticking over the tribes. It's wrong. He shouldn't have done it. Stitt says the gaming compact is expired. The tribes say it's not and continue to operate as normal and honor the agreement they made with the state 15 years ago. And that's what's important. We continue to send money to the state of Oklahoma. Still, Stitt says class three gaming is illegal. Four tribes have filed a federal lawsuit and until that's resolved, the money the tribes are sending to the state for education is being withheld from the classrooms. Both Hoskin and Stitt say they want a compromise, a win-win for all Oklahomans. We can accomplish this without putting public education in the crosshairs. But it's unclear how or when that's going to happen. He needs to understand that, that the state of Oklahoma has never had a better friend than the Cherokee Nation or the other tribes, but it's a friendship that needs to be based on respect and understanding.